peace, 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 family. Take me to the water. <laughs> Why you think they were singing that? Why you think they were singing that? Huh? Mm, mm, mm. Let's talk about it. Sugarcone, beautiful souls. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up, yo. Like Saturn retrograde, like it's deep. Last will be first, first will be last. What's done in the dark comes to the light. You know a real healer when you see one. You know what's up when you feel it. Go with your first instincts, yo. Go with what you feel. Go with your love. Alignment. <laughs> it's it's, it's deep right now, yo. Like, <laughs> quit playing host. It's, it's, it's deep right now, y'all. It's, it's not for the people. It was never meant for the people. That's it. That's all, yo. So, with that being said, we gonna go ahead and set it off right.
is such a way to make them feel good. Put you in a trance it's at times if you go too long. Living witness of it. I be just getting it in when I tell y'all. It's mm -hmm. Ashe, love, peace, honor, grace. To the gods and goddesses of the drums, ancestral ancestors of nature, spirits of nature, all elements, north, south, east, west, earth, air, water, fire, ether, metal, I'm out here to shake some stuff up. Come on now, y'all. Let's talk about it. Some little simple beats. 
I be going to a trance, so I like to keep, I like to keep it humble and, and level for beautiful souls, because the frequency does get a little thick, especially uh, beautiful souls can't handle healing frequencies when they're coming in strong. And at the purest levels, now y'all, let's talk about these things. Now, when we're talking about a drum and its beat, when you close your eyes and you're listening to that drum beat and you're traveling, you're astral traveling on so many different timelines, especially the timelines that you want to heal. Be too beautiful. So, especially when we're talking about if you were raped or molested or some traumatizing situations that happened to you as a child, we go on that timeline. We pull that little boy, little girl, that inner child back to you in your space. A lot of beautiful souls call it soul fragments. Though, this is ancestral healing. And what our ancestors did when beautiful souls wanted to heal their childlike trauma, past life situations, karmic debts, all that, all that add up. Mm -hmm. So, to understand when you are embraced. With a real healer, one that ain't gonna sugarcoat it for you, speaking fruit and truths. Awareness, being a superpower, mm, mm, mm. and observe. Observe still with your purity. Allows you to see even more deeper. You're going deeper, deeper, deeper in the knowing. But that's deep too. Let's talk about that too. Especially when we're talking about our own divine pineal glands and third eye chakras. To be at a frequency where you would allow an entity to come in your vessel and allow you to play host. Because now it's a, it's almost like a legion now because you got the competition, you got the worry. You're worrying about what another beautiful soul is doing or thinking that's another entity. You're gossiping about this beautiful vessel. That's an entity. You know, you're playing player hater. You're, you're mad. You want somebody to blame. This is a legion now in this vessel seeking revenge on projected illusions and perceptions that entities give to begin with. If it did not come off that beautiful vessel's lips, it should not even be manifested into anyone else's paradigms. So when we are aware of how these entities move, there will no longer be this easement for any vessel. This is beyond just your herbs and how you eat. Thy lips being spoken it's deeper than that, beautiful soul. It's about your feelings, what you feel, you're aware. That's what this is about. I understood that when I watched how beautiful souls would literally play host to these entities. To these energies. It's not
not a game out here, y'all. This is not for the weak. It's not for the weak, especially during these times. It's not for the weak. And it's so warm right here. It's so warm right here. Oh. Put me back up. I still, I'm talking. I wanted to start it off with a few. Killer components. 17 minutes already in. Catch it. angle where you can see it like I said right here a nice view big fish be skipping over hmm. so this is yeah it's the same it's the same thing Especially as we keep raising our vibrations. Got a vibe high, y'all. Got a vibe high. Keep raising our vibrations, frequencies, and energies. And transmuting anything else. If it's not resonating, it is to be transmuted. That's it. That's all. Think otherwise. You can't pay me to go no other way, baby. I'm trying to tell you. To literally pull your own inner child soul fragments back to you in your space, healing all of you. Ones that come, and this the thing too. Everybody, it's still a healing process. Healers too. Like it's when it's deep in the soul fragments. Some have more than others, you know, where they've been hurt and went through deeper healing situations than others. That's deep too, especially right now. Let's let's go, Indigo children. Like, what up, Indigo? What up, Indigo? We out here. We out here, baby. We done been through a lot, yo. We done. Mm. I'm gonna reach out and touch you. Sit down. Sit down. We done been through a lot, yo. <laughs> a lot. To talk about these things. To help beautiful souls with stuff. Like, this is deep. When we talking about how vibrations, frequencies, and energies work. And not giving these motherfucking words no more power than they deserve. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Who? Oh, okay. Just check. 
In that case, you could take all them dictionaries and go and burn them. We starting over. Eucalyptically. Huh. Shit. Ossetian. Put, put some stuff in this dictionary y'all know supposed to be in here if we gonna have them. Like, it's, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new light. Mm, it's a new way. Hey, write that down, y'all know. Poetic finesse. I love poetry, too. Poetry, music. It's all this together. Together. We talking about ancient, huh? Mm. Mm. Don't some don't even want to say it. Like it's it's so many haters on deck, yo. That's a whole entity. Why are you playing host? <laughs> like I'm telling you, I'm and you see me, why are you playing host? Like literally. I've been doing this for a long time, so it's just <laughs> there were times where I didn't literally had to speak to a family member like are you aware of what you're saying to me <laughs> yeah yeah I am just throw the whole subject away and start the fuck up <laughs> and start over Masculine coming in real strong, y'all, but we gonna keep it real humble. Y'all know what's up, especially during these times. During these times, still pure love. So stand your ground, knowing your worth, speaking your truths, living with love. Okay, and that's deep too. That's another child. We gon' we gon' end it with this one. And it's deep, y'all. Just cause you have a family, you know you a healer. You've already enhanced and activated these healing abilities. You already know what's up. So with that being said, you've already been there. You've already done that when it comes to punching the clock and working for somebody else. You work for the universe. You work for your ancestors. You work for spirit. Don't let nobody, nobody think they can pull you into their matrix like you are to punch on a clock. Because they still do it. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. Just checking. off again because that's that's enough that's another strong one that's another strong one because you'll have family pull you think they can pull you in with their curses and spells you want to come work with me <laughs> like <laughs> this deep like i i all shit co shit like it is what it is family friend or foe it is what it is and it's still love it's still love, yo. Like, I'm not finna send no ripple effect of bad energy out. I'm not finna curse nobody. I'm not finna put no spells on nobody. But I am gonna speak my truths about it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I know our channels. I'm looking right at the wall with them. Make it make sense, baby. Make it make sense when we be flowing. Flowing deeply, deeply, down, down. Take me down to the surface where it's calm and quiet at so I can feel the vibrations, frequencies, and energies in the depths at the bottom. I'll come back up here when I have to come back and return. Take me down now. When I understood that, Damn. Olo Kun. 
gods and goddesses at the bottom. That's another reason why I say speaking truths for our ancestors in the depths that can no longer speak their truths aren't here to tell their story as we live to tell their legacies and their stories. Ashe. That was another, that was another awakened channel message I got. Like, and I, uh, I need y'all to unthaw all this and start over. Unthaw everything. And start over, okay? It don't matter where you start. Start on one end and, and flex to the next. <laughs> and man-made lakes and ponds. I'm going to need you to drain all this water out, baby, so we can see what's at the bottom of this right here. Especially in certain sacred lands and sacred, sacred grounds. In plain sight. Yeah. On and drain that real quick. We need to go and dig up under here. That's deeply, deeply always been an inner passion of mine. And you know it's deep, y'all, especially when you're getting downloads of Kemet, Napa, Kush, Mali, Afura. If you're getting downloads or you're yearning to go back there and stuff, yo, and <laughs> you feel that, ain't no denying that, you feel it, you know, you know where your soul want to be at, hmm, okay, even as a little girl in school, they only show you a little bit in his story books. No one, you looking at it, you feel so much more. Especially when you see the gold and artwork. You know, like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Every time I seen it as a little child, I was activating more and more of myself. Took me a little minute when I got older seeing like yeah family you think family see certain things the way I see it because I was just waiting on like prime example I was waiting on like my sister somebody say you know I there's somebody in that closet something in there Mom, Dad, something's in there. Just something that small. Something just that small. Mm -hmm. Just something just that small. We literally do it. I'm like, yes. Uh, let me know that my sister was tapped in too especially when she got her Holy Ghost certificate when she started speaking light language they call it speaking in tongues speaking in tongues is light language light language is healing frequencies you can remove an entity or demonic energy at will just by speaking light language it's a powerful frequency of pure love and it sends the entities back to their natural habitat hmm. right back there so that will let me know about my older sister. I was like, yes! <laughs> I loved it, y'all. Because 
like I said, as a Pisces, even as a little girl, seeing the unknown, feeling the unknown, speaking to the unknown. has always been something I did. I just literally, it's, 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 some, it's life, y'all. When you stand in your power and you know your worth, that's it. Because can't nobody tell you, can't nobody tell you nothing. You work for the universe, your spirit, and your ancestors. With that being said, who truly else are you assigned to listen to? I mean, let's talk about these things for a moment. Who are we truly assigned to listen to? Beyond that. When I literally understood that, y'all, I started seeing where obstacles and shit was coming from. <laughs> Just from listening to somebody. <laughs> No, and I ain't got no business listening to nothing like that, especially when it's lower than the frequency I'm already resonating at. That's another thing, listening to somebody. And awareness being a superpower too, y'all. So, already at a high frequency. Already at a high frequency. Keep it smooth. Keep it smooth and short. Wanted to get on here and do a little healing session for the collective. Y'all already know. We out here. Keep shining this love and light. Keep the vibes high. Y'all already know. Peace.